old. I graduated from Chaparral. I like to ride horses, hang out with my friends, work on the computer, and watch TV. Huh? I have a dog named Moose. I talk on my iPad with an app called Touch Chat. I like the iPad because everyone has one. To get the horse moving, I make a vocalization to signal, walk on. I have been doing therapeutic horseback riding since I was 22 months old. I have been at Promise Ranch for about six years. I really like it here. I have known Carol, my teacher, since I started riding. She cares so much about me and my body. Horseback riding makes me independent and feel confident. After every riding session, I love to just be in my wheelchair and spend quiet time with my horse. We look into each other's eyes and we breathe together. We are silently telling each other, I love you. Amy was born with cerebral palsy and has been riding since she was very young. She is just one of many in our diverse population who are thriving at Promise Ranch. We work with individuals with physical and cognitive disabilities, those dealing with mental health disorders, veterans, seniors, cancer patients and survivors, truly anyone with therapeutic or rehabilitative needs. Promise Ranch is a nonprofit organization founded in 2008. We're located in Franktown, Colorado. All of our potential participants are required to complete a physician's clearance form as part of their registration. This helps us ensure that our programs are effective for each individual. Our certified therapists and instructors provide equine-assisted activities and therapies, including hippotherapy, therapeutic writing, and equine-facilitated learning. There are many benefits to working with and riding horses. Some of our participants come to work on physical, cognitive, or sensory goals in a therapy session. Some come to enjoy a recreational and social activity or to work on developing life skills. Some purely come to work on self-care and healing. No matter the diagnosis or personal struggle, our goal is to offer a welcoming, safe, and healing place for everyone who comes through our gates. Retired Army Colonel Tom Murphy believes in the power of humans interacting with horses. As far as a veteran, just being around an, an animal, it's that comforting and that, that doesn't ask you to do anything. It, you know, it's there for not your enjoyment per se, but it understands. And if you, you know, when you're rubbing it, petting it, whatever you do with a horse, but I've seen it actually calm people down. You see it work, it's just wonderful. And if that can relax somebody and bring them back into where they're not against everybody, or I just think it's wonderful. And that we, as a society, and especially as an older vet, we owe this to our younger group. Anything we can do to help them, we should be trying more and more doing that. So that's what you know. I, I think that they do at the Promise Ranch. I think the, the word brought up is that they're silent therapists. At Promise Ranch, Daniel Wiles has been working with his silent therapist for about six years. Dad and Mom, Blair and Valerie, explain how Daniel's autism condition has improved. And it's, it's helped with his muscle development, um, walking and uh, muscle tone. And I think just the relationship, there's something that you just can't describe. The relationship between the horse and the individual, the, it's, uh, there's, there's a magic that happens that just can't be described and it can only be seen. And I've, I've witnessed it so many times and it typically will bring tears to the eyes of people who are, part, who, who are able to witness that. Um, it's just something that can't be explained that's, that's um, pretty amazing. Uh, we, we call it the magic, magic that happens, but uh, um, there's definitely 
a, a communication that between the horses and these individuals that happens. Well, I think when Daniel rides um, his horse, Buka, I feel like it gives Daniel a sense of freedom. Daniel's able to sit up taller and he has some control and command and um, likes to ride without holding on, will ride with his arms out. Um, and it does make him happy to ride. The, the horses just seem to understand um, individuals like Daniel to a level that we just don't get and it's almost like they communicate. For Jamie George, a former army medic, communicating with a horse has been a healing experience. I'm a veteran. I was in the army. I joined in 1991. I was a medic. I do. I got 60 percent disability. I have a bad neck injury and a hip injury and I uh, have nerve damage in my leg. Hippotherapy, as far as, as we will start helping other veterans, you know, we're just slowly trying to build it up. And for a lot of us, it's, it's just therapy just being there, you know, it's a peaceful time. I think the biggest thing it helps with is, is because when you spend time with a horse and you learn the groundwork with them and you can kind of center yourself and focus on that animal, you're not spending that time focused on all your problems and all your difficulties and all the things that are going wrong. And when you can empathize with another creature, it gives you, it puts you out of yourself a little bit. You know, it's really easy when you have a lot of medical issues and a lot of mental health issues and, and you're struggling with things to become extremely self-centered in it and all you see is what's wrong with me, what's wrong with me, and all the look at what I'm going through. And it gives you an opportunity to, to just kind of go to peace. Retired Navy nurse Marjorie Bezdek found more than she expected while recovering from a broken hip. Started taking the um, um, therapy writing starting about three months after I fell and the motion of the horse walking, it really helps, you know, uh, loosen up the muscles and the tendons and everything in your leg. And so I never had a problem and it, I think it helped me heal better. So I bought a horse and he has taught me patience. He's taught me humility and I just like to be around him. And in this past November, I moved him over to Promise Ranch to board him there and he is now a therapy horse as well. So we are all volunteers and veterans with Promise Ranch. The big thing that they're looking at is people with traumatic brain injuries or um, a PTSD um, can help them. Uh, horses are very similar to people that have PTSD because um, they don't usually remember bad things but they can remember serious bad things. I just started taking lessons when I retired, started volunteering, and then after I broke my hip, decided I needed more time with horses, so I got my own. And I'm fortunate that he's being trained to be a therapy horse. That's him right there. Cole Garrity's relationship with horses has helped him deal with spinal muscular atrophy. Cole is gaining strength through riding as he undergoes a rare drug treatment at the University of Colorado. My name is Cole. Cole Garrity and I'm in eight. At school I ride recess, PE, and math. I used to ride sky and I write angel. We do um, wings, these are wings, and we do trotting. And we do tiny jump, like we walk over poles, and put my hands on my head, and more things. That when I get off of a horse, I feel much more happier. Yep, I look forward to running. The best part of riding a horse is trotting. 
and it makes me stronger because I can start doing different things. But when I have my braces on, I can like stand up. I can like kind of squat. After I get done riding, um, it makes me very tired. It means that I'm getting stronger. My core body's getting stronger. My six packs, my six packs are growing. <laughs> <laughs>